Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got her racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. Racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. I'm frozen, neck is frozen. Catch me rolling, I'm the chosen. Snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, most of y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging. Carol singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging. Is Christmas Carol music playing on Alexa home pods as I enter to find Chase on the couch wrapping presents? No, you can't see this. Go away. <sighs> Chase, I hate this season. I mean it. Get out. I'm wrapping your Christmas presents. Chase hides the presents by putting a blanket over them. I don't want your Christmas presents. Come on. Listen to my words. I hate everything about this time of year. Why? Has it got to do with you dumping me at this time of the year when we dated? Stop talking. Why then? I just hate it. Jasmine, you're better than this. Ugh. Christmas is like being thrown off of a Harley without a helmet and dying. Whoa, wow, you've got to let it go. Take off my coat and throw it on the couch in anger. I have nothing to let go of. You let it go. <laughs> I have nothing to let go. I'm totally chill. I love this time of the year. Ugh, ugh, stop talking. You're making me sick. So your mom left your family on Christmas Day. It could be worse. You could be old, lonely, and spending Christmas Day alone. You're not lifting my mood. Shut up. Come, sit. Listen to the Christmas carols with me. I'll get you some wine and we'll chill. How does that sound? It sounds like the worst thing to ever happen to me. Hold your horses on that opinion. Chase exits to the kitchen to get a text. What the fucking fuck? What is this? What is what? You've enlisted me to give presents to children at our local hospital? What? Phil asked me to be Santa. He does it every year, but he can't this year. Why the hell not? Uh, Vanessa caught him in bed with Brittany. <sighs> Why do bad things have to happen to good people? Yeah, sure. A stranger's marital problems are affecting you. You're weird today. Take out some chocolate from an advent calendar. Nessa's threatening divorce, and Phil's trying to win her back. It's kicking off. I'm not taking part in it. That's the bottom line. I have to deal with it. It's for a good cause. It's to help kids recovering from chemo. I'm still backing out of it. Jasmine, you can't back out. I'm playing Santa, and you're playing Mrs. Claus. We're meant to work as a team. Read my lips. I don't give a shit. Okay, well, do you give a shit about children who have been suffering for months? Cross my arms and stay defiant. You're going to hell. Stand my ground. You could make a massive difference in their lives. How can you be so heartless? I'm not heartless. Of course I care. Great. So let's make the children happy by giving them some beautiful presents from Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I'll do it, but don't expect me to smile through this ordeal. I wouldn't expect you to. I'm also not taking any pictures. <sighs> I'm wondering what I saw in you when we dated. You're horrible. You're the ghost face of Christmas. That's insulting. That said, ghost face is my go-to Halloween costume, so I take your words as a compliment. Be thankful. Hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's get this over with. Why am I not looking forward to this? If you think I am, I'd rather have Donald Trump's man boobs suffocating me than talk about Christmas. Eesh. Is that something you should put out to the universe? God makes miracles happen. Yeah, I regret my words. Ignore me. He walks away, shaking his head.
We're in a corridor leading to the children's wing at the hospital. Ace is dressed up as Santa. Got his white beard, round stomach, and Santa hat. He's all set. I walk out of the restroom dressed as an elf. <clears throat> I have a word. <clears throat> oh, what's up, little elf? I thought I was playing Mrs. Claus. Yeah, change of plans. Vanessa usually plays Mrs. Claus alongside Phil, but Phil can't get her to give up the costume. Oh, great. I'm stuck playing a loser. Elves aren't losers. <laughs> Look at me! Yeah, it's hard to deny you're not a loser right now. Slap Chase on the arm. Elves dress like losers. Elves are integral parts of Santa's workshop. In what story? Uh, in every single one of them? Have you never watched Elf? No. I was living a life. I'm saying that you should be honored to get your Elf position. <sighs> Ever. Let's get this done with. Aim to exit, but Chase pulls me back. Uh, hang on. What are we here to do? I don't know. Here to ensure I never get asked to do this again? No. We're here to bring joy to kids. Hey, great. We're also here to bring the spirit of Christmas. That means smiles and hugs. I am not smiling. Ace glares at me. I am not smiling. Yes, you are. I'll put you on Santa's naughty list if you don't smile. Oh, no. We wouldn't want that. I'm being serious. Fine. I'll behave myself. I mean it. You need to be on your best behavior. Or I might be the first Santa in history to fire an elf. I said I'll behave myself. Let's do this. Ace and I walk into the wing. Hooray! Hear screams from the kids. They all race over to hug us. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <sighs> you make me sick. Kids all hug us tightly as Chase ignores me. Chase and I walk down the street in our Christmas gear. I can't believe you wouldn't let me change at the hospital. I thought you'd like to wear your elf costume for a little longer. <laughs> Admit it. You wanted to embarrass me. Hmm. There is that, too. <clears throat> I smack him on the arm as Chase laughs. laughs. What did you do that December you dumped me? Were you as moody as you are today? Let's say I was happy to chew myself out of that relationship. Do you hate Christmas so much because it triggers your memories of how our relationship ended? You're mistaken. Stop talking. Alright. <laughs> I can't believe those two kids puked on you while we were taking pictures, and you didn't shout at them. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not a monster. Prom 2008. What did you do? <gasps> you said you would never bring that up. You urinated on your best friend's prom dress after you realized she would wear the same costume as you. Fine. The monster. That's one example. Mmm, Disneyland 2010. Shut up! <laughs> oh, is this day done now? Stop by a diner. The sign promoting eggnogs. Hmm, fancy some eggnog? You can't be serious. What? You love eggnog. Yeah, and I've been puked on. Yeah, sorry. We carry on walking. Hey, so listen. One of the parents at the hospital invited me to spend the night with them. Carol singing with her friends. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare ask me to do that. I'm sorry, but I said we'd be there. Ace, I'm not going. Part of I hate this freaking season, don't you get? Come on. It'll be fun. Oh. If you come, I'll stay in the chateau until New Year's Day. What? Stop Chase from walking further. Yeah, it turns out I like this place. Yesterday, you hated it. Yesterday, you threatened to burn it to the ground. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. People are allowed to do that. It's one of life's pleasures. Yeah, well, those people are dumb. They're included in that list, too. Thanks. Look. You can change your mind about Christmas. No one will hate you. I'm not going to carol singing with you. 
There'll be a free buffet at the pub afterwards. Plus, there'll be an all-you-can-drink wine-tasting event, too. <sighs> I'm sensing a yes on the horizon. Come to the carol singing, but I won't sing. My voice is terrible. Yeah, you got to the quarterfinals of The Voice, so it isn't that bad. It's nice that you recognize my talents. We're at the door. There are ten carol singers. Ace and I are there too. I'm miserable. Carol singers start singing, let it snow. Cross my arms. Chase nudges me to get me to sing. I reluctantly begin singing. The next door, singing a Christmas song. It's Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. I'm once again miserable, but I lip sync the song. Ace catches me singing and smiles. <laughs> I immediately stop singing out of frustration. Ace laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> At our last door, singing Silent Night. I'm singing a little. <laughs> so what? <laughs> it's a good song. <laughs> Us, there's a little girl at the door. She was at the hospital when we were giving presents. It's her test results tomorrow to find out if her cancer has vanished or returned. Anyway, I want her to feel better, so sing. We finish singing and the little girl walks over to me and hugs me. I hug her back and she heads back into her house. Everyone starts walking off. Enter the house. I take off my coat out of frustration. I throw it away. Admit it. You like the singing. No, I didn't. Position is unchanged. I hate this whole season and you for trying to make me like it. How could you hate Christmas when I made you do some of the most beautiful Christmas traditions? You get me to do all these activities to make me fall in love with Christmas? Maybe on some level. Well, didn't work. Hmm. Well, I remember you singing pretty loudly when that sick kid wouldn't sing. It was a jerk. I wanted to get the performance over with so we could leave. You made that cancer survivor's day. Oh, what? Come on. Why would you do that if you're as heartless as I claimed you were? Don't want to be forced into liking something I don't want to enjoy. It's time you move past this hate you have in your heart. Do you think you should have forgiven me for my accusations by now? We're not fighting about us. Eight. So don't push my buttons. Wow. What? I thought it was a minor issue, but you hate Christmas. Oh, stop. Of course I don't. Okay, so level with me. What's so bad about Christmas? You have a roof over your head. You've had a wonderful day. Great. Give me a second to cheer that. <laughs> Lift my arms in the air. Fine. But you've always had family around you at Christmas gatherings. That's true. You've always had people giving you presents. Although, that said, I want to count on people giving you stuff this year, judging by your foul mood tonight. I'm not talking about this. So you'd rather stay pissed off? That's right. Ugh. I can't be around someone who hates Christmas. It ruins my whole vibe. Who cares? You don't. Leave. Just tell me why this season turns you into the Grinch. Just does. Growing up, my grandpa would tell me about every action having a reason behind it. Yeah, he sounds clever, but I would have hated that grandpa if I had met him. I know there's a reason why you hate Christmas. Tell me, and I'll cut your pain in half. I might even eviscerate it. Oh. Come on, Jasmine. He said no. Get that through your skull. This looks stung by that. He walks off to our bedroom. Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. This turns around. Yeah, you did. It's best for all parties if I stay in a hotel. I'm stunned as Chase walks away. Ace 
Ace comes out of the bedroom with his luggage. Hey, we talk. Nope. I'm out of here. Look, I, I feel bad. I owe you honesty. It's too late for that. Ace walks past me with his luggage. Please. Ace stops and turns around. Why do you hate Christmas? Because of you. Me? Yes. What did I do to you? Oh, thing in particular. <laughs> it's just the month I dumped you when I thought you slept with my cousin was December. Oh. I hate Christmas because it makes me relive my stupidest decision. Huh. So, I was right before? Yes. I'm gonna throw some wisdom your way. <laughs> I doubt you have any, but go on. No one can change the past. Instead, we can take those memories and use them to fuel our new beginning. To make better memories every day? You've got it. Huh. What? Those are beautiful words. Thank you. I'm pretty smart. Oh, and thank you for ruining it. <laughs> Look, I can't promise our past won't affect our future. But I can promise that I'll fight every day to make sure you're the only future I'll ever have. I'm glad to hear that. Does that make you feel better about Christmas? A little. There's the hope of something, while today, it felt like an inevitable end was coming. Jasmine, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay, so I want to keep you by my side. That's all I needed to hear. Kiss Chase and then pull back. Uh... Sorry, it was a mistake. Ace kisses me back. I liked it. Both smile. Hey, there's an open bar at the pub. Yeah, let's. Oh, Will and Vanessa worked out their differences. They're staying together, but Brittany torched his SUV. <laughs> Did she get away with it? Nope, she's in jail as we speak. What a woman. <laughs> yep. He's certainly interesting. It's a long time coming I'm so glad we made it here You and me So here's to another year Another chance to do better So let's
This was The Chateau. It was voiced by me, Justine Leah Hintz, and Alex Bowie. It was written, produced, and directed by Joao Nisita. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Chateau. Please leave us a review on Apple Podcast and Spotify, and subscribe to the podcast on all of your favorite podcast listening apps. That Love Podcast is active on Twitter at That Love Pod and on Instagram and Facebook at That Love Podcast. Please share this series with friends and family. Thank you.